Um, I often get asked the question, what do you use to animate? Well, I use this program. This is called Cheetah 3D. And as you can see here, I've got several dolphins and some sort of platform here, and some pillars here and here and here. And I'm currently working on the next music video, or at least what I hope will be the next music video. Um, uh, and we're here on the planet Kevin, which is ruled by these beings that look like dolphins. And anyway, you see a lot of these white lines in all these figures here and it becomes quite messy over here because we've got several of them, several characters laid on top of each other. So what we can do here is we can take this button here and move our camera to the side here and we can take one character and move him over here so you can kind of isolate him and see how he is uh, separated from the rest. Let's move him a little bit more. All right, so we see him here, and we can use this tool here to pivot him around if we so wish, right? Or move him up and down if we wish, or back and forth. Or if he was facing us, we could move him. Uh, left or right using this toggle. Now all these little things in here are bones. I've put a lot of bones in here so we can take this bone, highlight this bone, and now it'll give us this toggle thing and I can move his mouth open, close, open, close if we want. We can even do some other things with it. I can stretch his mouth down like this. Um, I don't know why we would want to do that. Um, Maybe he sees something that really surprises him. I don't know. Or we could uh, move his tailbone like this. Maybe he's swimming. La 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 la. I'm swimming. Ah. Okay. Uh, I even add these little bones in here if we wanted to do stuff with his uh, fin back there. Even if I wanted to fold his fin in like this if I wanted to. I could do that if I wanted to. Um... I've also got uh, some other things that I could do with him here, um, and these fins, I could fold these in if I wanted to, or fold it like this if I wanted to. Um, so there's some really good things about Cheetah, uh, sorry, the Cheetah 3D that I like. There's some things that I do not like. Uh, for one example, you buy Cheetah 3D and it comes with no instructions, none whatsoever. And so you have to figure out all this stuff on your own. And you can look up tutorials and stuff, but there are not a lot of tutorials. So, uh, here we have, so we have all those bones. And if I wanted to, like for example, this down here. So I've clicked on this mouth. And if you notice down here, these buttons, these are simply red because I had selected them before. So now I deselected them. So you have all these blue buttons, and these are what his mouth is doing at these at these points. So if I go to this point here, oops, and because because I go to, to this, it, it takes the camera back to where it originally was. The, the, the camera is recorded. It has a re record button here, or you know, a designation button here that I've recorded it to be in this position. And because of this dolphin here, dolphin number seven, I've re I've recorded him being here uh, at this point, and he kind of floats up and down. But the camera is moving as well, so you're seeing the camera moving as well as him moving. But if we look at his jaw here, we can see that at uh, this point. Uh, here, this point here, it's closed. See, we have it closed, and then we have it open, right? And all of them are open. And then here, it's still open, but I've changed it just a little bit because what they're going to be doing is they're going to be singing, right? And they're singing what they, we call a diphthong, meaning it's uh, the same, um, the same. Uh, not note, but the same melody without a break, but there's a change 
in the rhythm. So we want to articulate the fact that he's kind of between notes here. So we're, we're closing his mouth just a little bit and we're opening it back up. And then here it's closed a little bit, opening back up again because we're doing the same thing. Back over here, it's still open. And then finally here, it's closed. Now, one good thing about Cheetah 3D that we can do sometimes, depending on what you've got going on, is we can play this play button and see what it would look like in real time. Now, it's not, it, this is a rough estimation of what it's going to look like in real time. This is not exactly what it's going to look like because obviously we won't have all these bones in here. And these pillars that look pink. Uh, are actually marble. So they're going to look marble. And this big center green thing is not just green. It's a um, planet surf. So it's going to look uh, kind of like grass. And then these big circles here are not just this, this brownish color. They're like a stone color. And the thing that you really cannot see at all is, is this whole thing is surrounded by water and you can't see the water at all because it's this see down here ocean right this is a uh, texture so let me see if I made a did I make a render of this I think I did so let's see yes I did so as you can see here we have like an a B here this is what the final in my render manager is going to look like. All right. So as you can see here, this shows up much different than this does here. And the reason it does this is so that, you know, it doesn't eat up a bunch of memory, right? Um, because if it, I, I guess, I'm guessing that if it showed everything like that here in our workstation, it would uh, take up so much memory that it would take forever to do anything. But as you can see, you know, the pillars are pink here, but here they're sort of this marbly sort of texture. And then here we have this nice uh, stone surface. It's got a nice reflection to it and everything. Here it just looks very plain, you know, because it's not fully resolved. And here we have this nice ocean here and then the background is is uh, blue and if you look carefully you can even see the ocean moving a little bit because what I've done here and, and back here a little bit you can see the ocean moving a little bit because what I've done is in the ocean so we'll select the ocean see so this whole thing is a, is a relief what they call a relief so this is a sort of a um, uh, uh, it's it's like a plate, but it's got texture to it. And then this crumple here is something that you can add on. And with the crumple, as you can see, the crumple gives me this wheel here. And what I can do here is I can change how much or how little it crumples. And you can kind of see that happening here, right? Kind of see that happening there. And what I can do is I can set it to be at one setting for crumpling down here and then change to another setting here. And it gives the illusion that this surface is acting like an ocean. So that is um, just a little bit, just a glimpse into some of the things I do to animate. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching this. And, um, yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you very much for listening. And everybody have a lovely day. Hey, everybody, it's me again, Jackson the Space Dog. Don't forget that if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please hit that bell notification button. Please hit that subscribe button. And please tell all your friends about it. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.